Well, good evening. Welcome back to 3 News. A sunny sky, but a lot of mid to high level cloud cover over North Beach and Corpus Christi, South Texas on this Friday night. Right now, temperature reading 92. That's one degree down from our afternoon high at 93. Northwest winds at 14 miles an hour. But look at that feels like temperature. The heat index, it feels more like 97 as you get your Friday evening plan started. OK, Hurricane Delta, the big story in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, you know, the hurricane hunters went through it earlier today and found that winds have decreased in strength, which is good news for Louisiana. Now a cat two winds at 100 miles an hour and wind gusts up to 125. And you'll see the structure of Delta. It is not too organized at this point, despite it being a cat two. You know, as opposed to being compact, it's really spread out and being flared up because of so much wind shear in the north Gulf of Mexico and a, a lot of the cooler water in the northern Gulf of Mexico as well is keeping it relatively weak. But again, still a cat two as it makes landfall later on this evening in western Louisiana. Let's switch it up into radar and satellite. You can see a lot of the heavier downpours associated with Delta is mainly focused in western Louisiana. You work your way along I-10 into Lake Charles, Sabine Pass, you know, Far East Texas. These are just tropical rain bands that don't stop. As you can see, the eye wall, the eye of Delta is about 20 miles offshore. So in terms and timing on landfall, we're expecting in the next hour or two, maybe about 7, 730 later on this evening and still providing a ton of rainfall in addition to a lot of storm surge upwards of about 12 feet in central Louisiana later on tonight through tomorrow as well. You work your way west in Houston into, you know, Beaumont, Liberty, Texas. You can see the outer bands of rain just kind of turning off as you work your way into Houston. So the dry spot with Delta is over near Houston. And even as I expand the view, you can see Corpus Christi only seeing a few clouds overhead right now in the mid to higher levels. Now here's the forecast cone for Delta as of the latest advisory makes landfall sometime this evening, seven, eight o'clock, maybe a little earlier than that and pushes its way north northeast as it races off into Tennessee and Kentucky through Monday. So it's going to be a fast moving storm. Great news there, but as Delta moves away from Texas, it's going to steal all the moisture away from us, which is going to decrease our rain chances and improve the beach conditions here in Corpus Christi. But in the meantime, elevated conditions through tomorrow. In fact, the National Weather Service does have a warning in effect until tomorrow morning. Depending on what conditions look like by tomorrow, that may extend throughout the weekend. The tide levels are going to run up two to four feet above average. Wave heights are going to be about six to 12 feet in height, so we have to be very careful at the beach because that'll be the primary concern with the backside of Delta. In addition to a lot of heat, usually on the left side of storms or hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico, you really heat up. Temperatures are going to be in the middle to upper 90s this weekend and morning lows in the lower to middle 70s. And keep in mind, I did put the record for each and every day for Saturday. The high temperature record is 95 and the high temperature record for Sunday is 95 as well. And we're going to be near record heat both days this weekend. So hot and humid with the name of the game as we get into the weekend forecast and also in the next week as well. All thanks to dry air on the western side of the storm. You can see Delta just stealing all the moisture away from Texas as it races off to the north and northeast, giving us dry and mostly sunny skies in its wake. OK, seven day forecast morning lows not too bad. Lower to middle 70s afternoon highs about 10 degrees above normal for October standards in the middle 90s and that extends through Monday morning lows still in the 70s by Tuesday and Wednesday and a very dry forecast and very sunny as well through late next week. Leslie. All right, Ryan, thank you so much and we have a team of Tegna reporters.